A uniform solid cylinder of a cross section area A and mass M floats in a vessel of water of density D as shown in the figure. When the vessel is raised upwards with the constant acceleration A, the height of the cylinder submerged in water will. Right, this is a good question. It's a very good question. I know most of you have no, have no idea how to do it. Yes, why? Because you have not learned hydrostatic properly. So, you know, pressure changes when the acceleration changes. And how you get the upthrust is, the, is due to the change of pressure difference, pressure difference on the top and bottom surfaces. And that is how you get the upthrust. So, when the acceleration changes, pressure changes. So, therefore, the upthrust also changes. So, let's see what they give it, give us here. Right? It's going upwards with an acceleration A. E. It's going upwards with an acceleration A. E. Right. So, the upthrust, initial upthrust, so initially the height here is, let's take as capital H. So initially, you can say mg is equal to upthrust. mg is equal to upthrust h into area A rho g initially when there is no acceleration. This is what you can write. Afterwards, Afterwards, you apply a frequency MA to this. You apply a frequency MA to this. So what you have is the upward force, which is upthrust, minus mg is equal to m into a. So now the height submerged will take a simple h. We take a simple edge. So you know up thrust when it moves upwards with an acceleration A is going to be H A rho G plus A. Make a word that I can know. You should know this. If you do not know this, I will tell you how to do this. Right. Minus M G we take it to the other side. G plus A. So these two gets cancelled. We lost these two get cancelled. So once again what we get is M equals H A loop. Here also what you get is M equals H A loop. Therefore we can say simple H is equal to capital H. Remains unchanged. Remains unchanged. Remains unchanged. So about the pressure. Now this is how you get the answer. As a gun but uh, I don't know the You still do not know how to get the pressure now, right? Tell you how to get the pressure now. That part I'm going to do here. You should know the proof of pressure. Right guys, these are, these are also basic knowledge that you should know. You should know the proof of pressure 
how to prove pressure so how to prove pressure so you consider a cylinder made with the liquid cylinder made out of the liquid inside the liquid height of cylinder is h so the forces acting on the cylinder are the lumen reaction and the weight area of this is a so the pressure we can call it that the force on a unit perpendicular area r over a so applying f equals m now the whole system is moving upwards with an acceleration a so it's r minus mg for this liquid cylinder is equal to ma so r is equal to m times g plus a and m is h a rho g plus a h a means v so it's v rho g a sorry you don't need to write v so pressure you can write H A rho G plus A divided by A. So pressure is H rho G plus A. It is not H rho G. Now it's H rho G plus A. That's the proof of pressure, guys. The pressure proof method. So you know how to prove the up thrust. The up thrust to get proof of man karan ne ne. I'm not going to do the up thrust proof. So up thrust comes with the pressure difference on the top and bottom surfaces. On the top surface you have a pressure, therefore there will be a downward force. On the bottom surface you have a pressure, so there will be a, uh, an upward force. So the force difference is built by the pressure itself. So pressure is h g plus a. So up thrust is also v rho g plus a. Right. Therefore, the up thrust. You can write therefore up thrust. So I'm not going to do this because you have to do it at home, right? You have to prove with you, so we have to do it at home. It's v rho g plus a when it's going upwards with an acceleration a. When it's going downwards with an acceleration of a, it's g minus a. It's g minus a. So this is how you have to do it. You have to know all of this. You have to know all of this. You have to know all of this. You have to know all of this.